Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Yeah, Ralph Dukan, yeah. Look, I mean, we just heard some couple of hours ago that Manchester United have uh, approached uh, Van Roy to be one of our reserve uh, managers or I would say assistant coach for the club. But even though we could, we could be happy with that, we can be more happy than hearing that United have added another quality signing into the list in the name of Rene Hark. So I've been having a question here on our Facebook group. I've been having uh, some questions from friends who is Rene Hark. So in this video, I want to tell you guys, give you guys my overview about this coach and give you guys a reason why I think Manchester United went for this choice. So Rene Hark is a guy who actually is a Dutch international um, you know, I mean, born 1971, that's not very important, but he's a Dutch former Dutch professional football player, someone who has uh, uh, worked with uh, with Eric Ten Hag. They have a friendly relationship. They are mostly uh, considered uh, like they have a, a, a similar system of approach in terms of football. Look, for the past couple of, uh, the past two years in Manchester United, one of the biggest criticisms we've had with Ten Hag is his man skills, you know, man-to-man -man skills i just think eric tena could be a very bad salesperson to be honest <laughs> because he's very blunt and straightforward it's like buy me this cake take this cake i mean he's very uh honest which is good in life but in business you need to get that charisma just like someone like pochettino but anyway uh or jose Mourinho. that's a good uh, example yeah, so we have been told uh, that um, this guy, which I don't know, and most people don't know, but I've done some research about him, uh, uh, Rene. Um, by the way, I don't know why many Renes. This is a second Rene. Rene, Rene Romansov used to coach. Be uh, He used to be, see, Alex Ferguson, uh, Romansov. Rene Romansov, if I'm not making a mistake, used to be, see, Alex Ferguson's uh, uh, assistant. But anyway, Rene Hark will be Ten Hag's uh, assistant, one of them. And one of the reasons he's coming here is because of his personality. He does understand also the way Ten Hag wants to play. They have, um, they have as I said, he had, he had a similar way of play. And what is his credentials? This is a guy who has coached a lot of clubs. So, you know, he is well known with the youth team. That gives you an idea what say, Jim Ratcliffe wants to do. Um, uh, guys, and so he started from the MM, went through 20, that's the youth, to the 19 to under 21s. He has done 20 and been an assist uh, manager also. And uh, he has also traveled, uh, he has also, sorry, uh, coached um, Entrich. Ontrich. If we do have Dutch here, you should help me out with this one. Ontrich. And but the best year he has had, he brought uh, up a team go ahead Eagles uh to a European competition, which is really fantastic. I said this casually on our stream today. And guy, by the way, join us every 10 a.m. Yeah, we do stream here in the United Way TV. And um, so um he has come to join the team of staff of Dutch player, Dutch former players or Dutch specialists. And I think the, the 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 vision for Manchester United is to have a particular style of play. One of the reasons why most of you wanted Ten Hag over Pochettino, I mean in the first year, is because of the way Ajax played that season. And you have someone like um, uh, Rene, who he will be the guy to really impose the playing style. I think this is a bit risky also for the future of Ten Hag. Why? Not because someone will kick him out, but because there is no room for excuse. There is no room for Ten Hag to say uh, it didn't work. So Rene has come in, uh, is coming in actually. It's not official. Fabrizio Romano just came out with the with the scoop saying uh, Rene uh, is the guy, which uh, Rene Hag is the guy who is going to be with Ten Hag. Yeah, I'm going forward. So uh, his personality and his game of style. And uh, guys, I want to say something. This is very uh, normal also with, with, with clubs. When you have a, prog a plan, when you have invested a lot. Yeah, let me just go back to the story. Look, you remember Real Madrid in the early 2000s, I think. Yes, early 2000s. There was a reason why Real Madrid went Galactic. So Galactic. So Galactic. Galectos, right? Is because they were not having success as a team. They bought some players. They were not really doing well, and um, they had to change their strategy. It's just something similar on Manchester United. We have tried. We have brought a lot of managers, a lot of players, but there is something which has been discovered, and this is by Ralph Rannick, is the thing which has been discovered is Manchester United' biggest problem was not an individual was the culture i think what we are changing in united the inyos are trying to change mostly is the culture of the team some of you came on our live 
you noted that uh, on that that point. If we can change the culture of the team and have players who want to play for us, who wants to make a name and earn some good paycheck, I think no team will compete with Manchester United in the Premier League. That is what, I, what I've seen. And for us to do that, we need to back the manager. All of you have come out and said something similar. Back the manager. And, and I think um, Inos has come out and um, tried to move to that direction. Look, I did a poll in our stream today morning asking you guys. Most of you went with the fact that uh, you are kind of admiring or you are appreciating the direction in which Ineos is taking Manchester United. It's not that everything is simple. We will have tough days in future. We will lose games, but um, we, we, we wouldn't say they didn't make an effort. So coming back to Rene, Rene will be working with United, I mean, as, as soon as possible because uh, his contract, uh, everything will be official in a couple of hours. But what I want to say is, I think the bringing of this guy and Van Roy, someone with a very good history in regards to Manchester United and also someone who is also uh, someone that will bring that respect of his what of his credentials in Manchester United dressing room will obviously switch off the player power that will have in Manchester United United all the Magways all the McTominies all the the uh, Marcus Rashford if he stays all those attitudes will need to reckon with the fact that Manchester United now is a different environment we don't want to listen to questions to those uh, cr crying behind the press that players are, are training in the evening when the results are not good, that we are running too much. I think this guy, one of his biggest uh, um, quality, which is his man management, really. But I think all I think he is going to bring in also that disciplinary way in a very. I, I mean, what I'm trying to say is he, he will have that. He will bring in that soft power that is needed, and um, yeah. So I would love to hear your view about this player if there really do have people who have uh, watched this guy's teams play. But since I, since we were, they have been talking about him, they have said he is playing, he has playing, he, he understand, he plays the Ajax way of playing of football, which is really high pressing. And that high pressing must give you an idea of why Manchester United are going for young players. I think Manchester United approach next season will be very intensive. This is why I think we will have to take, we will have to accept to take a cut of price or certain players who cannot match that system. We don't have a lot of time. Ignos will have maximum three years to be to, to get results. I'm not saying that we will next season where we're going to win something, but I think in the next three years we have to build a team that in the next three years we are talking about Manchester United um, winning things in the Premier League year in the UK. So guys, um, tell me what you think about this guy. Um, do you think that this is a, the, the right choice for Manchester United? If not, don't just say no, but tell us honestly, who do you think would have done a better job? You know, taking Van Nistelrooy, Van Nistelrooy from, a, um, from a job which he had to take in Burnley and bringing him as an assistant at Manchester United, it does help us in our attacking play, it does help us to build up a team which is more serious, which is serious. Bringing someone like Van der Haag, someone who knows the manager to be his assistant as well. I think United, honestly, we can judge a book from the cover, but you know what? Manchester United really need bis mean business. I think now after this uh, uh, purchase, United need to start getting the players right on the kind of system which we want to play. Anyway, guys, hope you learned something from this video. And if you did learn something on the video, please click the like on the video. We want to hit 10,000K. Guys, every time you like the video, you help the new YouTube algorithm to share this with other fans so we can get a real V brand society and, uh, and community in general. Well, um, uh, with that all said, guys, talk to you soon. Bye bye.